the thing about energy, and, it's, and anyone listening to this is really important, when you start, like I did at United, we say at 43, 44 years of age, they see the energy, the players see the energy, they see bouncing out of you. But when you get to the 60s, they still expect to see it. Mm -hmm. So I had to look at myself in terms of energy, that hours I slept. Because when I was a young manager, four or five hours, no problem. When I got to that, to my 60s, I needed six or seven hours. So you go to bed earlier, you look at your, your diet better, Saturday nights were out after the game, went home. You know, I never, I, I mm -hmm. very, very seldom around a Saturday mm -hmm. night. Uh, so that, I had to, to examine myself with my energy because people want to see the energy. Right. A really important aspect right. of it. You're a great student of leaders, historical, political. Who, who are some of the leaders you admire and for what qualities? Nelson Mandela. The great thing about him was there was absolutely no bitterness in his, his, uh, attached to his life. Um, and you say to yourself, well, could I be that way that, you know, 27 years in prison, come out and have no bitterness at all? All he was interested in was making South Africa a country to be recognised and put on the, a moral path. They've got their achievements. They're in that big world now. And failure is not a problem. How you deal with it is a problem. And uh, if you don't deal with it, then you'll fail again. Uh, I always feel that uh, adversity has always driven Manchester United on. We don't like losing. And uh, therefore, uh, the, uh, the human beings we've got in there, that character we've got in the dressing room, has to come to the surface in moments where we've lost a game. How would a chief executive manage risk? For a, a football coach, I was always conscious of what my job was for Manchester United. So I was prepared to risk. Shove defenders up in the attacking positions, Take the gamble because if it was two nothing, you're still lost anyway. You know, I think there's a common sense attitude from from good leaders that is it worth the risk? But are we going to lose out of this? I don't think they should worry about the number of people who qualify at the same time as them. That's only negative. You know, that thing you say, oh, should I apply? There'll be hundreds of supply. I'll never get it. You know, I don't think that's a positive attitude. Your attitude should be. I've got my chance, I'm in this world, I'm going to succeed. I'm going to apply for a job. You know something that's really important for a young person? Get as many interviews as you can. Do you know that? The technique of going for an interview, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, even get 100 interviews and you fail 99 times. You'll improve through interviewing. And at some point in your life, you might be interviewing someone else. The advice I give to any young kid is, anyone can play a game of football, anyone. But practice makes you a real footballer. Mm -hmm. You see games on a Sunday, pub games, all love a game of football. The real players have had a practice ethic about them. Mm -hmm. you, know, you take the, I remember being at a lunch in Glasgow many, many years ago, and Gary Player was uh, the, the, the guest, the golfer. Yeah, your golfer. And they asked him that question, um, why do you keep practicing from the bunker? Because he was famous for going to the bunker. He says, well, I know, I'm going to be the, in the bunker uh, one time in the game, maybe twice in the game, and I've got to put in a hole. Mm -hmm. That's why I practice and practice and practice. Mm -hmm. That's a great example mm -hmm. of uh, what you have to do to be a top mm -hmm. player. But I think the important thing is to, uh, what I, I think is really important to be consistent, be who you are, mm -hmm. don't change. I think people don't respond to change well when they see someone, the manager, is changing his mind every second day or mm -hmm. whatever. I think consistency is really important. What I think that United were the best at, they were best at having the consistency. Winning a league didn't matter. It was the next year it mattered. Mm -hmm. And there's not many teams can continue with that. For instance, City won the league lost the next year. Next mm -hmm. year. Chelsea have their spell and now they're having a bad spell. It's very difficult to maintain a success, a, con a continuous success for mm -hmm. five, six, seven years. Very, very difficult. I mean, but, what was the thing that allowed you to do it where so many other people have had challenges doing that, whether they're running a company or running a football club? Well, it's, um, it's that complacency, to avoid complacency, that if we win the league, my first steps the next season was to remind them about many things, about expectation, about responsibility, that complacency is a disease, 
that all these things matter to me because I was always fearful of dropping back off the scale. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, we had, um, we, we had a, a reasonable consistency. But the most important thing about United for me was that every time we lost the league in the Premier Division, we won in the next year. So there was a response mm. by the character of the team. That's what was really important. Developing character in the football team is just as important as developing the ability mm -hmm. of the team. Mm -hmm. And the character in that, that football club was very, very strong. Very strong characters. Mm -hmm. And I think that is really important. If you were running a business and it was a business winning team, what characteristics would you have to see? My staff and, and we see them come in early in the morning. I thought it was good, ready, fresh, at the same purpose as me. Hard working, um, energetic, good personalities. And we built a bigger staff in terms of the physiotherapists and sports science and things like that. They started to come in at the same time as me. So I think that the example I was setting that was important to them say, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Other sacrifices you have to make as a leader? I think I read in your book that you, you played football the day you got married. Yeah, uh, yeah. You missed the birth mm -hmm. of one of your sons at least. What, do you have to make these sacrifices to be a winning chief executive? Absolutely. There's no other way. Yes. Your wife is devoted to being the best you can be and also an, an example to everyone. So a sacrifice is absolute, it's paramount, absolute, for me, absolute paramount.